Green turtles are found in tropical and subtropical seas, where the adults forage on sea grasses and algae, and juveniles catch jellyfish, sponges and other invertebrates. They spend most of their time at sea, but migrate to sandy beaches to lay their eggs. Let's have a closer look at its skull. Let's start with an easy bit. Here are the orbits or eye sockets on either side and the nose in the middle. If we look down the nose, you can see through to where the nostrils would have opened into the mouth. Try breathing in through your nose. Can you feel the air at the back of your throat? That's because we have a structure called the secondary palate that divides the passage for the air from your nose from your mouth. It means that you can feed and breathe at the same time. We have a little bit of secondary palate here in the turtle, so the nostrils don't open up right at the front of the mouth, but the secondary palate doesn't extend as far back into the mouth as it does in us. I want you to remember these two big holes in the roof of the mouth. We'll come back to them later. You can also see from this view that our turtle didn't have any teeth. No modern turtles or tortoises have teeth. Instead, they have a beak that looks a little like a gum shield and is made out of keratin, the same stuff as your hair and fingernails. You may have noticed I've only got the top part of the skull, not the lower jaw. Can you see where the lower jaw would fit? This bone is called the quadrate, and if we look at it from the side, you can see it makes the shape of a question mark and marks out a bit of a chamber in the side of the skull. This is where the ear goes. You can see that turtles don't have an outer ear, it's nice and smooth over its head, but they do have an eardrum. It's quite different to ours, it's thick and behind it there is a fatty layer. Both of these features make it hard for the eardrum to pick up sounds in air, but it's really good at picking up sounds in water. From this crevice in here there would have been a single very slender middle ear bone called the stapes or columella, connecting the eardrum with the inner ear. Where do you think the brain goes? See the little trefoil shaped lump? That's where the backbone attaches. Above that is the hole we call the foramen magnum, where the spinal cord enters the brain case. So the brain goes in here, it's not very big. What about those two big spaces on either side? A lot of that space would have been filled by the jaw closing muscles. Remember the holes in the roof of the mouth I showed you earlier? These jaw closing muscles attach to the inside of the roof of the skull and go through the holes in the roof of the mouth to meet the lower jaw and snap it closed.